Good morning. My intuition wants to talk again. So I'm going to be starting with the Archangel Michael Oracle and then the Lady Isis Oracle. And um, we'll see what the Tarot deck has to say. Okay. So Archangel Michael wants to say, this is your life's purpose. And that was yesterday's message. Um, we'll see what today's message is going to be. Because I don't know what that will be until um, I choose it. So I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen with each read until after. Yeah. So... I'm just as curious as you are <laughs> about what's going to happen in this reading. So, like I said, I'm not psychic. I don't know. I can't predict the future. But when I'm told what's going to happen by my angels, my spirit guides, you know, the energies around me, they tell me what they see and I share them, you know, and that's it. That's all I can do. Just channel what I'm told, what I hear, what I see. Um, and then when I'm channeling, that's when I don't remember things because um, it sounds bad because when you hear the word possession, you know, it's usually like something evil, you know, and it happens, you know, when people are not careful with the kind of energies they're channeling, they're inviting, yeah, they'll get possessed. So that's why you have to be careful with who you're inviting and who you're attracting who you're praying to and who you're referring to because you can attract anything because there's a bunch of energies around you that are just waiting for a chance to get in and possess you, take over everything, either help you or destroy you, good or bad. So, so you have to be careful. You have to be very specific with um, the kind of energy that you want to attract because if you're not, then you pretty much will attract anything, you know. Kind of like, uh, you know, the dating world, like, if you're not specific with what you want and don't want, then you will attract anything. Yep. So, go forward fearlessly, okay? So, let me go ahead and um, see what the messages are. Energy healing work. Have confidence. Pay attention to your dreams. I also noticed that, like, I've been yawning a lot lately. And, um, I've also noticed, um, <clears throat> other readers do that. Um, <clears throat> they yawn when they channel. And I keep hearing, like, they didn't feel like, like that before. They were tired. All that, right? They were normal. And all of a sudden, as soon as they start channeling, they do reading. And, um... Like what I do, you know, the yawn. So they see, they notice like there's a pattern between um, them channeling and yawning. So then they kind of like figuring out that when they start yawning and they're not tired, but they're doing a reading, that, that means they're, be, they're channeling. All right. And it seems like that's what I'm doing. Make a commitment. And um, this is the bottom of the deck. Go forward fearlessly. Um, yeah, energy healing work. Yep, hands down. That is today's message. And I really don't know what he means by that. It's like I know he. it's about healing. <clears throat> it's about energy and all that, right? So if you just had this deck, you know, you'd have to kind of like guess what it means. I mean, you have an idea. So you would have to rely on your intuition on what this could possibly mean. But then it's, it's your intuition. So it's like, what is your intuition trying to tell you? Not someone else, all that. What is your intuition trying to tell you? And that's all you have to worry about. And then what is your intuition trying to tell this person? So that's why you have to be very specific. Who was who the question for? Who's asking that question? Um, who is the channeling for? And who needs to hear that message at that time? 
So do you see how you have to be very specific? Because, like I said, if you're not specific, then you will attract anything. Good and bad. Yep. So that is uh, the message that he wants to send out. <clears throat> and I really don't know what he means by that. Like, I have an idea. But it won't really make sense to me until um, I pick out one of Lady Isis's cards. And then he will finish the rest of it. So Archangel Michael starts it. And then Lady Isis finishes it. And when you put them together, then you get the message. At least for that reading, for that day. And then it can be different <laughs> the next day or the next time you channel whatever. Okay? So, in initiation, spiritual testing of Ra and the Lady Isis. Magic and ritual. Crafting sacred practice. I, of course, awakening divine perception. Enter the chamber <clears throat> of healing. Ooh, I'm going to see healing again. Um, healing in the divine chamber of the Lady Isis. So this is definitely by healing. Something about healing. Abundance of Sothis. No. Oh, stellar blessings of the celestial goddess of abundance. Mother of life. Nourishment of the golden green mother. Initiation. Spiritual testing of Ra and the Lady Isis. <clears throat> the Lunar Queen, she of the Celestial Crescent and Temple of Lapis Lazuli, Goddess of the Ancient Skies. Okay. One of the deck is Abundance of Sothis. So, if he's saying um, it's about energy healing work, then it has something to do with healing. Yeah, it's not initiation. It's not about lapis. So, something about the moon and being a mother oh okay yeah so i'm getting a mother of life yeah so because when i put it together energy healing work right that's what archangel michael is saying so it has something to do with healing energy and then lady isis from those options yeah, mother of life, nourishment. Yep, so when you put it together, this is about healing yourself, healing others, and being nurturing. That's why you have to be the mother of life. Yep, that's what I'm getting. So, <clears throat> this is the card from her, from Lady Isis. And this is from Archangel Michael. And when you put it together, it makes more sense. This is about healing yourself and nurturing yourself. Yep. And that's why you have the mother of life. You need Lady Isis. And she's about love. And he is about protection. So when you put them together, that's what you get. And that's how you heal. Yep. Like you need to be protected while you heal. 
because if it keeps being interrupted, then you will never be able to heal completely. And that's why you have to be protected. You have to be allowed to heal. Okay. Look at that. Four of Wands. 11, 11. Okay. So you already have a divine number. Oh, Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands reversed. Yeah. It's like whenever there's resistance, it's, it's something negative. When it's smooth, it's something positive. That's what I noticed. Look at that, the star. That's Lady Isis. Guidance. Aquarius. See? See that? That was smooth. The world. Number 21, Capricorn. Smooth again. Seven of Cups. I bet you this is going to be, um, there's going to be resistance with us because it's negative. See that? Here we go. Back to four of ones. Smooth. I'm telling you. All right. Nine of Wands, reversed. Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, wow. And Two of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, so you still have some negative energy. So they're still attacking. And it seems like they will never stop completely. I mean, you know, it's just how it is, you know. Well, some people love you, some people will hate you. You know, you just can't please everyone. Yeah, so it's like, when you choose yes, there's going to be a no. When you choose no, there's going to be yes. So there's always, you know, opposition. And that's just how it is. But at least you know who's against you and who supports you. At least you know where the loyalties are and where your loyalties are. So once once they know where you stand, then you know where they stand. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, this is what the East Swords wants to say. So this is the truth, okay? Um You're a healing warrior. It's like the enemies wanted you to be wounded. They didn't want you to heal. But because it's reversed, you're healing. So you're a healing warrior. And because you're healing and you're a warrior, you will come out of this victorious. That's the truth <laughs> with Ace of Swords. After this, after you be able, after this victory, you will be abundant and leave a legacy with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and then you realize that your enemy tries to make you feel juggled, but because you don't deal with them anymore, you know how they really are, and you know what they are. Now it's reversed, so now you're more balanced. It's like. You're balanced no matter what. You're balanced. And that's why you have to heal yourself. <clears throat> and you have to balance yourself. Because those against you will try to ruin that. And there are more people against you than there are supporters. That's just how it is, okay? That's why the more you stand in your power... And the more you focus on yourself and what makes you happy, 
the more people will hate you because they're not on your side. So that it's like <clears throat> once you know who you really are, you will also know who they really are. Okay, that's how it works. So that's why when you try to please them, you lose. Because then they, then they control you. And then you're afraid of what they think. So you lose. Because they have control over you. But when you care about what you think and what makes you happy, they lose. Because then they no longer control you. Because you don't care. You only care about what you think. You only do what makes you happy. So if it it goes against them, it goes against them. And you don't care. And that's when you have the power. That's when you control them. Because you can do what you want regardless of what they think. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So that was the message. That was the channeled message um, that you were meant to hear at that time. Um, let me show you the cards that came out. Nine of Wands reversed. Six of Wands. Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and Two of Pentacles reversed. Again, Eleven, a Master Number, and a Divine Number. Oh, so you have Ten and Eleven. Ooh, look at that. I'm seeing that. Ten and Eleven. And they're both Pentacles. So you have Twelve, 12 Pentacles so far, I'm seeing. And when you add one and two together, you have three. And that's the Empress. That's her number. And that's also a Trinity. Also, when you add up um, one and two, you always have three. Another three. Another Trinity. <laughs> Why the nine of wands reversed? Oh, look at that. You have a divine number here right off the bat. Uh, nine of wands reversed and nine of pentacles, 99. Why the six of wands? Judgment. Oh my God. Number 20. So you have two and two here. You have 22. Another divine number and another master number. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at all this. You have... Okay, so I'm seeing. Um, you have one repeated, so you get two, right? And then you have, even though you have two here, you still have 11 because that's what I'm seeing. And then you have um, 10, right? Which is still one. And then you get 10 um, multiplies the two, you get 20. Wow. These are the numbers I'm seeing. Why the Ace of Swords? The moon. Oh my God, look at that. You have judgment next to the moon. You have Scorpio and Pisces. Water sign. Why the Ten of Pentacles? And Eleven. Oh my God. Look at that. Justice. Libra. And they're next to each other. Oh my God. 
So you have Scorpio, Pisces, and Libra next to each other. Oh my God. And you have another Trinity here. Three. Three cards. Three signs. They're next to each other. Wow. So you have two water signs and one air sign. Okay. And, um... Why the two pinnacles reversed? Hi, oh my, you have the high priestess. They came out just now. The number two. Oh my God. Oh my God. So you have the two of pinnacles reversed, clarified by number two, high priestess. That is literally 1111 11 here. 1111. 11. I mean, this is what I'm seeing. Even though when you read them, it's two and two, but still, that's a dollar number because it's repeated, and then you have 11, 11, that's repeated again. That's crazy. Yeah, 11, 11. <laughs> so not only do you have a divine number, you also have a mastered number. Wow. All right. Um, why are the Nine of Pentacles? Hangman. Pisces again. Oh my God. So you have two. You have Pisces here. The moon and the hangman. Pisces. So when you see these cards, those are Pisces cards. Why judgment? Three. Oh my God! Look at look what came up. I just I said Trinity, and look what came up. Three cups. <laughs> to clarify judgment, why the moon? Five of cups. Reversed. Why justice? Four of Cups. And you know what? You have... Um, I could have sworn I saw the number before. It was four swords, four pentacles, and four wands. Oh, I saw it while I was shuffling. Okay. All right. Still, you have a number four. That's a, that is the Emperor's number. And then number three. Oh, look at that. You have three and four. Empress and Emperor. So when you add them together, that's seven. That is a lucky number. And divine. Okay. Why the High Priestess? Knight of Cups. Oh my God. Okay. Um. What is my intuition? What do the intuition want to say? Mine is hers. <gasps> Queen of Swords. Oh my God. Clarity. So you have truth and clarity in this reading. Really? Look at that. And Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God. Look at that truth and clarity so whatever you're hearing whatever you see it's all true it's happening wow okay so this is what my intuition wanted to say okay Queen of Swords now you have clarity and 
she's saying this oh my god look at that look at that this is what the intuitions are saying and they came out in this order <laughs> look at look at where her what she's facing where her sword is so remember um, i mentioned this before whatever she's facing that is going to happen because that's the truth so this ace of pentacles and ace of wands She's saying, that's going to happen. That's true. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is like... <laughs> that's what the intuitions are saying. And the, those are the cards that came out. And, it, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. So, well, my intuition is giving me clarity. His intuition came with this. <laughs> so a pinnacle is earth and because it's the ace of, oh my okay, look at that you have the ace of swords ace of pinnacles and ace of wands oh my god so you have three aces here Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. You have truth, opportunity, and passion. Oh my God. They're all new. So new truth, new opportunity, and new passion. All three of them came out. And if you weren't sure about that, all right, this is what she's saying. This is what the Queen of Swords is saying, okay? They're all true. Now you have clarity. That's what she's saying. Yeah, when the Queen of Swords <clears throat> says that, and she's an upright, and all these other cards are an upright, that means that she's telling the truth. So it's all true. And <laughs> if you're still unsure about that, <clears throat> that's why you have the high priestess saying that. Yep. High Priestess, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and Ace of Wands. Yeah. And if you need more than that, then you're the enemy. Seriously, you need to do something else. Seriously. Stop watching. If you're an enemy, why are you watching? Seriously. Think about that. So all the cards came out and let me see what they say. First, let me um, show you the signs that came out, the zodiac signs, okay? I'm seeing um, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Cancer, okay? So all these cards came out and Aquarius. So all these cards came out in this order. That's crazy. Four cards came out in this order. Okay. So you have Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, and Cancer. 
So you have all the water signs coming out. We have Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. That's all water signs. Plus one air sign, Libra. <laughs> and that happens to be the king of swords. And, and, oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's see, you have another air sign here, the queen of swords. Yep. So those are the signs that are showing up that I'm seeing, okay. You have Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, and then Cancer. So you have all the water signs plus two air signs, Libra and Aquarius. Um, he, she, he. All right, so I'm gonna go with he, unless I'm guided to uh, say she or they. So he's a healing warrior. He's also abundant. He has surrendered. Oh, you know what? Let me show you this real quick because um, this is what I'm seeing. Um, hang. Wait. You have the moon and the hangman. They're Pisces cards. And when you see these, these are also water signs. They're emotions, okay? So anytime you see cup, they're about emotions. So these are the cards or they're associated with the zodiac signs, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Wow, that's a lot of cups. That's a lot of emotions going on. But they're here, so I'm gonna show them. Okay, so these are all the emotions, all the cards that have to do with emotions, okay? That's a lot. And we're gonna see all the water signs. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I'm also seeing a lot of cards that have to do with emotion, okay? And again, emotion is tied with intuition. So the more in tune you are with your emotions, the more in tune you also are with your intuition. I mean, this whole, this whole, um, this whole thing is about emotions. Oh my God. I just noticed that hangman, three of cups, five of cups reversed, four of cups, and none of cups. They're all about emotions and they're all in this order. And they're all in the same column. Hangman, three of cups. Five of Cups reversed, Four of Cups, and Nine of Cups. Yep. So they're water signs. Okay. Alright. Um, because... Let me, let me restart, okay. Um... He's a healing warrior, he's abundant, and he has also surrendered, and he has a change in perspective. He's victorious, um, he's doing what he's supposed to do, 
so that he doesn't have to deal with judgment. Um, friendship is hard to come by because there are a lot of fake people. Your enemies pretending to be your friend when they're not. So when he can trust someone, then that is a reason to celebrate because that means that he has someone on his side. All right, that's my game. And that's the truth. With Ace of Swords. Um, I mean, something about the moon and the water. Yeah, so... If he's a water sign, this is perfect. I mean, you know, the moon is all about intuition and emotions. And the water is all about emotions and intuition. So that's why you have cups and you have the moon because they're related. You have emotions and you have intuition. Okay? That's what I'm getting. So again, if you're a water sign, the moon and the water, they're perfect for you. They make sense. Um, his enemies want him to go through regret. That's why it's reversed. So while they go through regret, while they go through the Five of Cups, and while they get juggled, while they get wounded again, while they get sacrificed, And they go through regret. You will you will be hopeful. You will be balanced. You will be healing. Yep. So will they throw out and give energy towards you? You will be on a positive energy because you blocked it and you reversed it. Um. He wants more than uh. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'm seeing that. And because of this, because he knows the source of positivity and the source of negativity, he knows what to block and he knows what to trust. And he's in tune with his emotions and his intuition. That's why um, he's, he's very abundant. So he, he's already abundant. But he's going to be even more abundant because of that. Because of his emotions and his intuition. So not only will he get more abundance, but he will also get his legacy with the Ten of um, Pentacles. Um, he will also get his justice. So justice is being served right now. And number 11 is the master number and the divine number. Um, not only is number four the Emperor's card, but the Four of Cups also means rejection. Yeah, basically, no. I want more than Four of Cups. I want all ten. I want to be happy. That's what that means. Um, well, his enemies go through, um, the Two of Pentacles. They 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 get juggled. He becomes he's balanced. He's balanced. So when the two of pentacles was reversed, it's balanced. Um, the high priestess is all about intuition. So again, if you're a water sign, I mean this this makes sense to you. So the moon and the high priest. Look at that. I just saw that. The moon and the high priestess. They are related. They're connected. Because the high priestess is ruled by the moon. And the moon card is Pisces. So they're they're connected. They're related to each other. So you have Pisces and Cancer. And you also have Scorpio. So you literally have Scorpio. Pisces and Cancer in this reading. So you have water signs. Okay. 
and then you have the Nine of Cups. So not only is he intuitive and in tune with his emotions, but he's also romantic because he goes from offering flowers to offering his cup. And that is just a cup. The cup of his... It's like... He goes from a cup of flowers to a cup. His emotions. So he's... Oh, okay. So he goes from offering flowers that are hiding his emotions when he's little to offering his cup. So that really means that this cup is his emotion. So he's offering his emotions to someone. And that could be the same person that he um, offered flowers to. That he gave flowers to. Yep. So I'm seeing that just now. Oh wow, 40 minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what the intuitions wanted to say. And this is what um, Archangel Michael and Lady Isis wanted to say. So Archangel Michael said energy healing work and Lady Isis said mother of life, nourishment of the golden green mother. Okay, so put it together and then you have this. Having said all that, I hope I helped you in some way and I will talk to you again soon.